Hey guys, um, I'm not feeling very well today, so excuse me if I keep like during this whole thing. My throat, I have something going on with my throat. I'm not sure what it is. I feel like my kids got me sick, which is usually the case around here. Um, anyways, I just listened to this week's recording of our director call. So, sidebar, director perk, again, is getting to listen to a leadership call put on by our home office every Monday. Uh, it is recorded if you can't, like if Monday afternoon doesn't work in your schedule. Uh, and it's a super awesome way to sort of start your week. I wasn't able to listen to it on Monday, obviously, because I just listened to it right now. Um, and I really liked the message behind this one. My friend Erin Decas actually was on it talking about um, how she's been getting the word out about her business in her neighborhood. So she just moved. She's a mili- They're a military family. She's a military spouse. And they just moved to a new military base in Maryland. And the people there um, are a little more reserved, maybe, I would say. A little a little more shy uh, than what she's used to, being from, uh, or not from California, but living in California. And so she's been struggling with her business because the ways that she used to get her, the word out about her business weren't working for her anymore. So instead of just sort of laying back and accepting defeat... Um, she decided to do something about it. So she went out and, like, now she's sort of known as the crazy bicycling sensu lady. Like, she literally goes around the neighborhood in a big green wig with a purple and green decked out bike. Um, being like, hey, guess what? (laughs) Like, getting people to take her samples and things like that. So I'm not suggesting that. But I really sort of like her go-getter attitude. I really like how she was just like... This isn't working, but you know what? I'm going to do something to to fix it or to to make it work. I'm going to try new things, no matter how crazy or uncomfortable they may be, um, to reach her goals. So, and then another lady, another leader came on and, and talked about how um, she worked with her, her downlines teams to try and um, boost their team morales up and and help those team leaders reach their goals as well. So just... New, innovative ways, creative ways to solve problems, which is basically sort of what the leadership call was about, or that portion of the leadership call was about. The rest of it was about the details of Sensi family reunions, so that was fun. Um, But I want to talk to you guys about that today, because obviously we all go through struggles in our business, whether you're a superstar director or an essential consultant, you're going to run into roadblocks um, throughout your business, whether they be for sales or you can't recruit anybody or you're having trouble booking parties and, uh, and just everything you're trying isn't working, right? I've heard that, um, that sort of script over and over again. Kate, I've tried everything. Nothing seems to be working. I've tried all the tips that you've given me. Nothing seems to be working. So, the way I see it is if that's true and you actually have tried everything, you have two choices, right? You admit defeat and you say, eh, okay, well, maybe this isn't for me. Or, you know, maybe I joined at the wrong time. Or maybe, maybe Sensi just sucks, <laughs> like, you know. But I have a secret to tell you. If other people are successful, uh, whether they joined a month ago or 10 years ago, it has nothing to do with, I'm trying to word this. If other people are successful, then it's not the company's fault that you're not. Okay? That's that's harsh. That's tough love. Uh, But it's true. So you're the variable here, right? Since he is the the constant in this equation, you're the variable. So if something's not working, then you need to figure out a way to change it. So you have those two choices, right? You either admit defeat and you lay down and sort of let it happen, or you work your butt off and find a way to make it successful. So whether that be new team members, like I said, or you want to reach the monthly sales award, the 2000 PRV a month, or maybe you're trying to promote up a level this month or next month or this summer, or maybe you're trying to earn the summer incentive and get a, get a trip to New York City. Whatever it may be, I can guarantee you there are ways to do it, but you need to have that go-getter attitude and you need to go out and make it happen. No one is going to 
help you be successful. I mean, our team will, obviously, we can support you and we can whatever, but we're not going to go out and find customers for you. We're not going to book your parties for you. We're not going to go and like recruit people and grab them by their collar and bring them to you. That's up to you. So you can come to me for advice. You can come to our team. You can look at the training center. You can watch YouTube videos till the day is done. But unless you're actually applying these things that you're doing and being consistent with your business, you're not going to get anywhere from it. So I just wanted to sort of come on and say that no matter how bleak it seems right now, there are always ways to enhance it and to make yourself self-successful. Can't say that all in one sentence. Um, and sorry, I'm being really, like, if you guys keep seeing me look over here, it's a really beautiful day out and the, it's really breezy and I have a tree right outside my window and it's sort of just like <laughs> blowing in the wind. It looks like really sort of meditative. So I keep being drawn to it. Sorry for, I'm not trying to be distracted. Um, basically, that's my message. So if if sort of you're feeling a little bit defeated right now and you swear that you've tried everything, uh, the two ladies that I heard on the director call today have proven that you have not tried everything. So if you want help with this very specific problem, I would be very happy to brainstorm ideas with you, even if they're sort of outside the box and off the wall a little bit, uh, to help you reach your goals. Any of us can get to our goals whenever we want them to be. We just need to be able to put in the time uh, and the effort that is consistent with those goals that we want. Okay, so I want you guys to have a great week. Um, and let me know what you think about this. Subscribe to this channel if you find it valuable, okay? Thanks. Bye.